Hello everybody, you're listening to Feed Your Mind and today I will show you actual footage of Flat Earth and this footage has been indeed confirmed by a scientist. And so the average person claims to have seen the curvature from the airplane window. Well, I'm going to prove to you in this video that that is a complete mass hallucination from being indoctrinated with globe earth propaganda. Because the thing is, most airplanes cap out at about 10 miles in the air. Now there is an exception because some spy airplanes can reach a maximum altitude of around 13 miles high. Now Felix Baumgartner in his famous Red Bull jump from space was said to have jumped from about 25 miles high and he jumped out of a helium filled balloon so he was able to reach a maximum height beyond an airplane and beyond a spy plane. And so outer space is actually scientifically said to begin at about 62 miles up so Felix Baumgartner wasn't even halfway up to space but yet they call it the space jump. Now the indoctrinated will look at the footage of this alleged space jump and not even question the extreme curvature behind them. Because if that was the actual curvature of the earth behind them, the curve would be so severe that the size of the earth would be like 50 miles in circumference. I mean, the curve of the earth would not take up one small patch of land in a state from only 25 miles up if that was the actual curve of the earth. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's listen to what scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson has to say about footage that shows curvature from 25 miles up and even higher. And that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon, um, <laughs> what's his name? Felix! Felix Bumgardner, uh, he would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. The, the honesty of it would greatly diminish what I think people thought he was actually doing. And not only that, they made sure to photograph him standing there with a really wide angle lens, which curves horizontal lines. Okay. So in the photo, you see this curvature of Earth's surface. And he said, wow, he's in space. Look at that. No, he's not. At that height, you don't see, you don't see the curvature of the Earth if you are two millimeters above this beach ball. It is, you just don't. That stuff is flat. That stuff is flat. And so you heard it from the scientist himself. It's time for the masses to stop being ignorant of this flat earth discussion. No, you didn't see the curve of the earth from standing on the ground when you thought you saw the boat disappear. No, you didn't see the curvature of the earth from ground level when you think you saw the bottom of the building allegedly being consumed by the curvature because the distance would not allow that. What you are seeing is atmospheric conditions in perspective eating up the bottom of that building. No, you did not see the curvature of the earth from an airplane. And according to Neil deGrasse Tyson now, all weather balloon footage that shows a curvature of the earth from 20 to 30 miles up is now invalid. So basically, unless you were in a weather balloon, you 100% never saw the curvature of the earth. And even if you were in a weather balloon, you didn't see the curve of the earth. And so this takes us to the footage of flat earth that I promised to show you. And so now when we observe this footage of a weather balloon from 20 to 30 miles up in the air, we know for sure that what we are seeing is unmanipulated footage of flat earth. And so I now present to you confirmed footage of flat earth. You see all this time the evidence has been right in front of your face. What you are seeing here is authentic footage of the flat earth. Footage from weather balloons usually are anywhere from 20 to 30 miles up in the air. The highest weather balloon has been reported to have reached a maximum of 33 miles in the air. But what you are seeing right here is on edited footage of the earth and there is absolutely no curvature whatsoever you see after being programmed your whole life that you live on a ball earth you start to see things that aren't really there and it's much easier to fool you with simple things like a gopro fisheye lens because you're already pre-programmed to believe that you live on a ball earth the easiest way to spot out a fisheye lens is by paying close attention to the horizon. You'll notice that the horizon will fluctuate. Sometimes it will fluctuate convex and sometimes concave. And also another way to know that you're looking through a fisheye lens is you'll start to notice that even when the camera footage is very close to the earth, no more than a mile or two above the ground, you'll still see the same type of curvature when it's 20 miles above the ground. So... What that should tell you is that you're looking at a false curved image of the horizon. The name horizon itself means horizontal. The earth is level. There is no evidence of a curved earth. Weather balloons pop when they get around 33 miles up in the air due to the expansion of the balloon. And at that height, there's still no curvature. 
and with all of the reports and evidence of there being a dome firmament above our heads with possible multiple layers this dome is most likely going to be kind of like a domed arena and so the maximum height that we can get footage of this earth from is limited because there seems to be a barrier above us where the footage will be maxed out no one will be able to get to an elevation high enough in order to capture the entire circle of the flat earth there has been reports of a rocket that has reached about 70 miles up in the air and even with that footage we haven't seen any curvature of the earth so this footage right here is a big win for the flat earth truth movement because the flat earth information has re-emerged for about five years now and nobody has came up with an authentic picture or footage of any curvature of the earth whatsoever check out my video proof earth is not what you were told for confirmation that all of the blue marble full sunlit pictures of the earth presented to you by nasa are fake pictures as well and so the only thing you globe earthers really have is fake images and fake fisheye lens pictures of this earth there's absolutely no evidence that we live on a ball earth this footage right here taken anywhere from 20 to 30 miles up in the air completely debunks all of you who have said that you saw the curvature of the earth here we are looking at footage of the earth from 20 to 30 miles up in the air and there is absolutely no curvature and according to the globe earth math that shouldn't add up if you're out here claiming that you've seen the curve of the earth this video proves that you are uneducated about the place that you live check out my playlist proof earth is level and flat for much more information i'll leave the link in the comment section and the description box simply enter your email address at feedyourmind1.com that way i can send you some cool news briefs throughout the week it's completely free if you support this channel, chip in one to five bucks and you can join my VIP room for early releases, free gifts, and much more. Links in the comment section and the description box. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and click your notification bell. Include the title of your favorite video and you're automatically entered into a chance to win a free gift from my Feed Your Mind pop-up shop. This has been another episode of Feed Your Mind. Thank you for tuning in signing off.